camel, my meal. Just grew some little sprout things. Look at it. It has leaves. I'm so excited. My babies is growing. another video and this time I'm coming at you guys with a little hobby of mine that I started during quarantining um, and I started this back in April. I got the idea from a co-worker of mine. She loves gardening so I wanted to try to try it out and just see you know if I liked it too or you know I was kind of just bored and I was just like why don't I just try something new, something different. So I actually went on Amazon, I found this box called Garden Republics, and it had tea leaves. So it was an herbal tea kit. So I actually have chamomile, lavender, peppermint, and lemon balm. So you guys have lemon balm, peppermint, chamomile, and lavender. Then we have these little burlap, little cute thingies. They're like supposed to be like little pots, little burlap pots or whatever. And there's one for each one. And then we have here um, the soil. It's like a little soil disc or whatever. It's very interesting. Never seen this before, but. I'm not a gardener, so it could be really common, but I don't know. Um, and then we have a herbal tea garden book, so it's going to be like a legit indoor garden. Some cute little decoration. And then we have like a little, I have no clue. And you can put your plant names up here the day you soiled it. It's pretty cool. Each one has one. So it's pretty cool. I, I can fill it out myself, so. And then you have a little tea ball because I am growing tea. So hopefully I can try it one day. Maybe not, but you know. That's it. So the first step when you get the box is you have your seed packets and then you are supposed to put the seeds in water and they're supposed to swell. This is lavender seeds. It's so crazy how small these packs turn out to be like, but it's five seeds per a pot. So I can only do five of these seeds, but it comes like 25 or more seeds in the little, in the package. So yeah. These seeds are like super small. I wonder if the water is supposed to go on top of the seed. It's really important to kind of like separate the seeds into different cups and label the cups that you put them in because some of the seeds look the same and it can get a little bit confusing. And the seeds are supposed to swell up with water when you do this. You leave them overnight, 24 hours, and it's supposed to swell up overnight. And I didn't see that happen, but that's what it told me to do. All right, you guys, so we're gonna do the soil disc now. So this comes in like that shape, and there's like four of them for each, um, for each seed. So I'm gonna put them all in here. Um, and then after that, you pour two cups of warm water over it. Pour two cups. This is warm water that I have in here, so hopefully it works. This is all I had. I didn't have a large bowl. I didn't want to sacrifice one of my cooking bowls. So this is the closest thing I had. It's supposed to break up.
So this is my first time doing this, so I hope I'm doing it correctly. It looks like I am, because it looks like right now the soil is soaking up all the water. As you can see, there's like barely any water left at the bottom. Now I'm just crumbling it up. Um, it looks like I might need some more water. There we go. So you don't want to put too much water. Once again, I am not a professional, but you don't want to put too much water just because it says it like molds or whatever. And we're trying to have successful plants. So, all right. So we got our soil. We're gonna start packing it in the pots. All right. I think I have enough to put this on all the way up. Kind of looks like brownies, except you can't eat them. It's not a brownie. <laughs> I wish I had like a little scoop or something. This is kind of messy. I should have laid down some plastic on this table. After a very messy process was over, um, I actually ended up naming all of my uh, plants uh, Matilda. Lavender, have you guys seen the movie? Um, Camel Mill was Camel My Mill. You really couldn't come up with anything for that one. And then for Peppermint, it was Minty Fresh. And then Lemon Balm was uh, Lemon Head, you know, like the candy or whatever. And so after that, I put, so, and all the plants I have, my little, like, um, little, like, brown stick or whatever, and I named them all. And then I put them all up on the windowsill. Small moment, but it feels big to me. Camel my meal. Just grew some little sprout things. Look at it. It has leaves. I'm so excited. My baby's just growing. Let's see what happened with the rest of them. So it's been day seven with these plant a lemon head has a little sprout now chamomile is off the chain i don't know if this many seeds are going to be able to fit in this pot like i told my husband the one who said to just throw them all in there so we'll see what happens with it but it is growing very nicely so we'll see if it works or not um probably gonna put some more water and minty fresh yeah, minty fresh is a little dry. I don't know about minty. We might have lost that one. We did have some mold issues, so we had to put some like cinnamon on them. That's that was our. That's what we saw was like a remedy for it. So we used it, and looks like it's working for lemonhead. So let's see if it'll work for Matilda, which is lavender, and minty fresh, which is mint. So I'm about to replant Matilda and minty fresh i'm about to replant those um i planted them on the 13th of this month of april and they did not grow um no sprouts at all we did see a little bit of molding and we could tell because the stick has some mold on it uh but in the soil i actually don't see any i put some cinnamon in it and i was gonna i was hoping that would help it grow but it didn't Don't worry, this isn't a spoon we use. And I'm trying not to like pack it in, I'm just like packing it a little bit. So we lost two of the homies, peppermint and lavender. Um, we tried, I tried to replant them. I tried the cinnamon, it did not work. So we just ended up going to Walmart and um, and buying some soil and just buying uh, peppermint and lavender and repotting those. Here is, I believe this one is lavender. Here, minty fresh. Well, not peppermint is what it is. We're just gonna replant these. We have two little pots right here. So 
We're gonna try to replant these and see what happens. Today we have a little helper with us, a little Sir Chester Butters. I know his eye looks a little crazy, but he got allergies. Um, he just sticks to me all day. Um, we also bought these little things to put the pots in. We saw that was like a good thing. We don't know, we're just coming up with stuff. Here's the soil I'm using, especially for indoor plants, so I'm hoping it works out well. It's not for you. This looks like his food bag, so that's why he's so like into like smelling and stuff. You see that? It's not your food. It's not it. It's not it. No. So I saw a YouTube video, and it said to like fill the uh, pot up like one third of the way with the new soil. And then you can get your old pot, which is this one. Oops, I might have to look at a YouTube video how to get this out. Let me actually look at a YouTube video on how to get this out. We just did this on the sides, and then the pot, the plant comes out. Ooh! Came out nice and smooth. <gasps> So this is incorrect because we actually need room at the top. So what I'm gonna have to do is take this out and replant it. I think this is good. So this is my lavender. It's a very messy process. So you can rip it right here. This one is a little bit different than lavender. It has like some little bag on it or something, it looks like. I think that's good. This is good. We're gonna see how these work out. I do have to wet the soil a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it goes good. I am going to be putting, moving these to a pot. Look at my lemon balm. It grew out of control. It's huge now. It's beautiful. And so that's my lemon balm. I planted it on April 13th. So it's grown a lot since then. And right now I'm gonna put it in this little pot right here. And then I have my chamomile. It's like a little forest in here. And I'm so excited for it. It has grown like way more than I even thought it ever would. And it looks beautiful. And so I'm moving this on to a pot too. This is a spot for it. And this one was also planted on the same day, April 13th. So we're gonna repot this one too. Here it is, popping out, you guys. Popping in. So this is gonna get potted right away. So after the repottings and all of that, I, um, throughout the process, I just continued to water them, make sure they got plenty of sunlight. And that's pretty much it. Just make sure you just show them a little TLC and they grew like, and they grew like out of control. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm about to move to North Carolina and I hope that they survive the trip um, because, you know, I would be really sad if I lost them now um, for moving. So we'll see in the future what they look like. So that brings me to the end of my video. I make content like this and content um, that's geared towards military spouse and the everyday working woman and just overall positivity and self-growth videos. 
Um, so like, comment, subscribe. Thank you to my 32 subscribers already. Uh, if you guys like this, con uh, this content, share it um, and let me know what you think.